feel like your feet. <laughs> Here, let me up and put it on. Oh, it's so lovely. I hate to dirty it. Claire, do you see what my darling granddaughter here has stitched for me? Is it not the most beautiful thing you ever laid eyes on? Mrs Fitz, would you mind giving us a few moments? Larry and I have something to discuss. Aye. And I can see by your face it's a serious matter. Can I be of some help? No, thank you. This is between Leary and myself. All right, then. I'll be just outside if you need me. Come on, girls. Shoo! Shoo! If you have something to say, say it. I have chores to tend to. Look familiar? Why should it? Because you placed it under my bed. What cause would I have to do such a thing? I know you have deep feelings for Jamie, and that when tender regard is denied, it can be very hurtful, especially in one so young as yourself. I even understand why a jealousy would be directed at me, even though I never conspired to take Jamie from you. The truth is, he was never yours to begin with. That's a lie. Jamie Fraser was, and is, mine. And you did us both the wrong past bearing when you stole him away. A mistaken child. My poor Jamie. Trapped in a loveless marriage, forced to share his bed with a cold English bitch. He must have to get himself swine drunk of a night before he can stand to plough your field. <gasps> Shouldn't have done that. Sorry. I, I did put that ill wish neath your bed in the hope it would make Jamie hate you as much as I do. He belongs with me and one day it will be so. Well, I hope the price you paid wasn't too dear because that will never happen. You're wrong. You're wrong about Jamie just as you're wrong about your friend, Gaelis. It was she who sold me the ill wish. <laughs> that surprises you, doesn't it? Good. Stay away from me and my husband. <laughs> 